Today class, we're going to be learning about the semicolon. For many people, including myself, the semicolon is a mysterious form of punctuation, and it's not always exactly easy to know how to use it. So today we're going to get a little bit of practice, especially considering the fact that the ACT that you're going to be taking has some incorrect choices on it that are the result of either the incorrect usage of the semicolon or the omission of a necessary semicolon. So first off, before we begin, it's important for you to understand what an independent clause is before you understand the usage of the semicolon. An independent clause is a phrase that when taken out of a sentence can be a sentence in and of itself, with the necessary noun and verb at least, so that even if it's part of a sentence, it works grammatically on its own. So one of the usages of the semicolon is to separate two of these independent clauses that are, already, that are not already separated by conjunction, such as and, or, but, etc., and that are in some way related to each other. So the best way to understand this usage of the semicolon is to look at some examples, so why don't we do that? The first one, whooping cranes are an endangered species, semicolon. They are unlikely to survive if we continue to pollute their habitat. Is this the correct usage of the semicolon? Morris. Yes, exactly. Why don't we break this apart into its two clauses? Whooping cranes are an endangered species. Is that a sentence? Can we use that? Can it be work on its own? Yes. They are unlikely to survive if we continue to pollute their habitat. That is also an independent clause because it works as a sentence. So, and especially because of the fact that they're related, we can use the semicolon to separate, but also to combine those two clauses into one sentence. The second example, I will not be at school on Friday, semicolon. However, I can make up the test before classes on Monday morning. Michael, is that correct? Actually, this is correct as well. It's a little bit trickier than the first question because Let's break this one down as well. I will not be at school on Friday. I think we can all agree that that works as an independent clause because it could be a sentence in and of itself. The second part, however, I can make up the test before classes on Monday morning. Can you start a sentence with however? Yes, you can. The reason why semicolons don't work with conjunctions is because you can't start an independent clause with and, but, or, and those sorts of words. So that's exactly why we can use a semicolon in this case. Why don't we look at a third case as well? Because farm prices have dropped so dramatically, semicolon, the traditional American family farm is in danger of disappearing. What do you think, Whitney? Yes, that's right. That's not correct because of the fact that because farm prices have dropped so dramatically, that's not an independent clause because of the fact that it couldn't be a sentence on its own. So instead of having a semicolon, we're going to make that a comma so that we can continue the sentence in that way. Now, another usage of the semicolon is in a series or list in sentence form where the series is divided already by commas. So why don't we look at an example of that. We had to buy fruits, vegetables, and whole grains for Reggie, red meat for Shell, chips and cookies for Pat, and ice cream for Lynn. Now, the semicolons are between each person's list. Now, is that a correct usage of it? What do you think, Michael? Yes, exactly, because fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are all for Reggie, so it's one item in this larger list. And since they're already divided by commas, we can have another form of separation, the semicolon, to divide the items for Reggie from the ones from Shell, Pat, and also Lynn. Now let's look at one final example. While we watched the parade, we saw floats, semicolon, marching bands, semicolon, and dancers. What do you think, Travis? Exactly, that's incorrect. So what would you put in place? Commas. We would say, while we watched the parade, we saw floats, comma, marching bands, comma, and dancers. This is an example of a simple list because there's only one subject, we, and so you only need commas to separate the, uh, the items in the list. And I hope that this has made sense in terms of how to use the semicolon, and that you'll be able to correctly uh, fill out the exercises on your worksheet. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, 
Uh, I like your answers by the end of the day. Thank you.